Hi friends, today we are going to make sensory bottles. You're going to see in um, the first picture what we're going to use as materials for our first bottle, which is going to be a jellyfish in a bottle. So I have my scissors, my rubber band, and plastic bags. You really only need one plastic bag. Um, I have two different ones. But what you need to do is you pull this into like a head shape. You get your rubber band. You just wrap this around it. Okay, so it kind of makes a head shape. On the bottom, you'll cut the bottom a little bit. I'm cutting off the handles. And then you cut the pieces up, or you can tear them to make jellyfish-like tentacles go all the way up so it makes different tentacle shapes so next what I did is I got my bottle and I jammed my jellyfish in there um, so really all I gotta do is just get it squished down and jam it in there for mine I used a twist tie you can see it a little bit instead of the rubber band um, and this is filled almost to the top with water Hi friends, so what we ended up doing is adding more blue to it to make it more look like a darker ocean. Um, so here's our jellyfish in the ocean. So the next one we're going to do is with oil and water. Um, as you can see in the next picture, it shows you the materials you'll need. And so what we ended up doing, if I turn this over for you, you'll see that I put the oil in about this high on our bottle, okay? So it's not quite halfway. It's probably three-fourths away up. Um, you can use really any oil you have. I used a mineral oil because that was the one I had that I didn't mind using. But um, you can use vegetable oil or baby oil, really any coconut oil, anything that you have that will look like a liquid oil. Um, we then added water in, and as you can see, we filled it almost right to the top. There's barely any space left in here um, for the water to add any extra. We put in some food coloring. So you can see the water and the oil don't mix. And when you're moving it, it gives it this cool lava lamp look to it. Okay, friends, our last bottle. Our sensory bottle is an anything bottle. So you can put anything you want in it. As you can see in our next picture, um, it'll show the items that Taylor used. First, Taylor put in all her items before she put in the water. So you can see she put the emoji heads in here. She put glitter, then some confetti glitter, and then she added the water to the top. And in the end, this is what it looks like. You can see everything moving, and then you can shake it see everything moving also so another thing too I'd like to tell you before we finish the bottle activity is that you need to use a bottle that is sturdy this is like a soda bottle it's a clear pop or soda bottle this here is a propel bottle and this one here I believe is also a propel bottle but you want to get a bottle that's very durable. Do not use the water bottles unless it has a heavy plastic because they break very easily. So before we can finish our bottles completely, I wanted to make sure you knew how to glue the lids on to make sure they don't come off. We put glue around the bottle top. You could also put glue in the lid and you glue it down. Okay, and you gotta wait for it to dry. You can also use regular school glue to put on around the outside. And if you wanted to put a little around the bottom too. Or you can use, try a glue stick. I'm not sure how the glue stick will work, but glue it around here. You could put some on the inside too again and put it on here tight and wait for it to dry a little bit. And friends, please don't try to unscrew the lids. Keep it on there to keep everything in your bottle. Thank you.
Thank you so much, friends, for participating in this activity with me. I wonder what bottles you can make. You can even send your bottles pictures to Miss Deanna.